the end of the day, there's two things I think we need to improve. We need to be a little bit more, more disciplined. Uh, we gave away too many penalties. We made too many unforced errors. And uh, we didn't mount enough pressure with our fifth play. Uh, it was a close game. It's a very tight game. And, and you think about they got one try where we just didn't quite get things right on that left edge and um, and then nailed a, uh, a brilliant try and uh, with a really good kick and a really good put down under enormous pressure. So uh, if you don't get those little things that I mentioned before right, then you know, that's what happens in a test match and, and that's what we need to learn. It must be frustrating that something like discipline particularly it was, a, was a downfall because at this level you wouldn't expect that to be a as big a problem it was for them, I wouldn't say that we're ter terribly ill-disciplined. That's not the case at all. But England was certainly more disciplined than us and you know, more disciplined with the ball and more disciplined in terms of penalties. And you know, we need to be squeaky clean there. Um, if, we, if we were today, then you know, physically I thought there was parts of that game that we won and won really well. But we weren't able to make the most of it because, again, our discipline wasn't good enough and um, nor was our fifth play. Did, I know you spoke about rugby a little bit last week. Did you think that was better this time around? Or, or an area to concern? No, look, I, I thought it was a lot more even. Um, you know, I haven't had a look at the numbers yet. I know there was a big difference last, last week in terms of uh, the ruck speed, particularly in the second half. Um, but uh, I haven't had a look. You know, to the naked eye, I thought it looked a lot more even. And you know, We spoke to the referees through the week, and, and the question was, you know, does England need to get off quicker, or do we need to stay on longer? And, and we were told that we need to stay on longer. So... At the end of the day, it's a little bit different over here than, than what it is in the NRL, and um, you know, it's something that our blokes need to adjust to. We've come over here and we we're playing under English conditions, and uh, I thought we adjusted there a lot better today. Is it is it difficult to adjust to the not just the you know the refereeing staff, but the, obviously the weather, the heat? That it, is it difficult to adjust to that in such a short period of time? Oh, it's a it's a massive difficulty, and. You know, when you talk about the ruck, the ruck's so fast and so squeaky clean um, in Australia that you, you, know, you get penalised there really quickly and um, you know, it's different over here. And um, when, when you're playing 24 rounds and finals under one condition or under one set of rules and, and then they're a little bit different, it is hard to change that automatically and that's part of the challenge. And coming over here and playing in different conditions and, and the challenge of that, you know, it's what excites us about coming over here because you know it's a challenge and... You know, you've got to find different ways to, you know, to do things and different ways to win games. And um, as I said, it's part of the challenge. And uh, you know, it's something that we've still got a little way to go and we'll be better at it next week again. Christian, there's an old coaching tradition of sticking newspaper clippings to the dressing room wall to fire the team up. Do you feel like you were maybe a victim of that this week, that you started that on the BBC, that they used a few things to, to fire themselves up? Did you get a whiff of that or not? No, I know. Look, I didn't get a whiff of that. And uh, I'm good on them if they did. There's no dramas there at all. Well, there seemed to be a fair bit of niggle out there throughout the game. Is it a bad luck between the two teams? Or uh, just, just, uh, I think, I think just to echo what Wolfie said, I think it's uh, just yeah, just ill discipline, really. Um, myself included. You know, we don't we don't give away those penalties and we put ourselves in a much better position to um, you know, hopefully score more points and be in better field position. And so. Uh, yeah, that's definitely an area for improvement heading into next week. I mean, the, the series has gone now. How disappointing from a point of view that after the World Cup, back-to-back losses now, two points. Yeah, obviously we're we're disappointed with with how it is, but um, you know we're not throwing in the towel after today's game. Um, we're gonna yeah recover and prepare the best we can to you know win next week. It's um, obviously we're down two 0 but. You know, we're not we're going, we're going swinging. We're not throwing in the towel. Christian, do you put much uh, um, stake in uh, world rankings? Obviously, that's still at stake next week. And PNG, I think, are targeted uh, jumping over the top of you if they win next week. So, is that is that something that you think about world rankings? Or? Well, look, we're very proud of where we sit, and, and the <laughs> fact that you know, it wasn't that long ago that we're sitting at you know, positions like 14th, and you know, slowly sort of moved up and. In the last couple of years, we've been anywhere from number two to number four or five. I think we're fifth at the moment, and that's very important to us and something that these blokes can be really proud of. And you know, yes, we're, we're, we're disappointed that we've lost two games, and that means we can't win the series. We're obviously very disappointed there. And we made a, you know, the, the way we've worked, the way we've prepared, um, you know, we've come over here to do our absolute best in tough conditions and to try and uh, win a series. And you know, I think it's easy to forget that. 
Now we're, we're playing um, a, a team that's traditionally one of the strongest in the world and always has been. Uh, it's a tier one nation and you know, if you went back five, six years ago, we would have been happy just to be in, in the competitive stakes. Um, we're more than that at the moment. We're riding games and we're giving ourselves a chance to win. And that's not on our conditions. We, you know, um, it it could, could certainly be a different story if we're playing in Australia and New Zealand in front of our fans and our conditions, but that's not what this series is and not what it's about. So I, w I don't sit here disappointed with how we've played or disappointed with the effort. Yes, we're disappointed that we've lost two games, but these blokes have given them all under tough conditions. Uh, they've given their all, and we've got some young blokes out there who are making test taboos. We've had six debutants already. Um, and, and that's shown a little bit at times, that lack of experience. And, um, you know, as I said, in terms of your rankings, we're playing a Tier 1 nation. I don't see how we can get past by teams playing each other in Tier 2 nations. That's a big difference in a series. We're from Tonga first, but... Um, <laughs> oh, look, you know, we'd love to, OK? Um, it's something that, you know, myself, Will, Jason Tomalolo, a lot of players that have been around for a long time, Conrad Hurrell, have spoken about for a long time. Um, you know, one thing that we would love to do is to take a game back to Tonga and take our best players back to Tonga and... You know, I'm sure if you ask Will the question of um, you know, why his commitment to Tonga and, and what he's wanted to achieve, one of those things that he'd talk about is a legacy, and a legacy for young Tongan kids, you know, particularly um, well, Tongan kids all over the world, but you know, our biggest populations are obviously Western Sydney, um, uh, Southern uh, Brisbane area or Queensland area, um, and Auckland, and that's outside of Tonga itself. And you know, I think these blokes have left an outstanding, long-lasting legacy, and you look at guys like Tolu Kola, um, young junior Tupo who made his uh, debut tonight. Um, there's plenty of others in there, Hamoliola Kawatu. Um, those guys want to play because of what play for Tonga and commit to Tonga first because of what these guys have done before them. And now going back to your question, there's not a bigger legacy that we could leave than, than take a game with our best players to Tonga. There's a lot of things that would need to be sorted out. There's a lot of things in Tonga. Um, you know, it would be a difficult exercise, but you know, to be as direct as I can, yes, it's something that we'd love to do, whether that was England, whether that was Samoa, whether that was New Zealand. We'd love anyone to put their hands up and say they want to come back there and it'd be an outstanding legacy to leave that country. Will, are you any closer to knowing whether last week could be your last game in the UK? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not looking beyond next week, to be honest. Uh, you know, time will tell what will happen there, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this this last week with the with the boys um, before you know we, we, we break camp. It's always a, a blessing and a privilege for myself to wear the red and white jersey and represent Tonga. It's something I I don't take lightly. Uh, every opportunity that um, I get given, I yeah, really try and cherish his time that I that I you know wear the the Tongan jersey and I strive to wear it with pride. Well, how important are the the Tongan fans? You see them, the, the colour, the noise. How important are they to you? And you yeah, they, they mean a lot to us, and a big part of you know why we want to play for Tonga is for them. Uh, obviously, you know, conditions weren't the best out there, and uh, still they're happy and singing. The speakers, are, the music's going off, and um, they're just always smiling. And um, obviously, disappointed with the result, but you know we went over there afterwards, and they're still happy and proud of the effort that we put in. And we can't thank them enough, and you know we we do it for for people like them.